see the location where we were going to film. It was a beautiful cathedral turned into a bookstore. We met the owner, he told us about the story, how he bought the cathedral for 100 euros from the city and made it into a, a beautiful bookstore. We were looking for extras in this particular location. Well, we really had bad luck because we didn't really find any. There was a girl, I think, who was uh, Romanian living in Maastricht. And then she said she will be there next day for the shoot. But then we had to ask actually the employees from the bookstore to stay with us and be in the movie. And then it turned out they were really helpful, but when they find out that uh, uh, we were going to shoot like two or three hours, and then they said, okay, after my seven or eight hour shift, I don't want to stay here another two or three hours. So we really had to look uh, forward to this uh, shoot that it will be only an hour or something. Finally, we managed to do it because there were some people who stayed half an hour, there were some people who stayed one hour, and then we were managing, Stuart was managing the audience and the, and the extras uh, in a way that we were able to shoot and, and, and finish the, the shoot in the bookstore uh, before everybody just uh, stood up and left. You can check out Don't Read This on a Plane on major streaming platforms, or you can order it on Blu-ray and DVD.